Hey guys, today we have a special lesson. I'm going to show you and introduce the number plane or another name for it, the number lattice. The number plane is made up of two axes, the X axis going horizontally and the Y axis going vertically. X axis always horizontal and the Y axis always vertical. Now the number plane is used for coordinates and plotting points. Another name for points is coordinates. So plotting points is going to be used using this number plane. And also we're going to use it to actually draw lines, straight lines and curved lines as well. This number plane, as you can see, the x-axis is divided into two parts. We have the negatives and we have the positives. The y-axis, negatives on the bottom and positives on top. Now we're going to use it and I'm going to show you how do you plot points and plot coordinates on this number plane. It's actually very easy. However, I want to make sure you understand that you need to know this very, very well. Why? Because throughout high school, you're going to go through a topic called coordinate geometry and you're going to know or you need to know this back to front. So let's understand it. Let's go through it. And by the end of the lesson, you'll see that it's easy but you need to master it. Okay, we have coordinates here. The coordinates are written X, then Y, like the alphabet. X comes first, then Y comes second. Let's see how it works. We're asked to plot these coordinates, which are points on the number plane. The first one is six, three. Now coordinates are always written in brackets with a comma in between. This is your X, and this is your y, x, y, x, y, x, y. Very important for you to, to realize that the x always comes first and then the y comes second. So how does it work? We'll grab our point and we're going to plot 6, 3. The x, like the alphabet, comes first. Now where is the x-axis? It is the horizontal line. So we've got to start with that first. Six, 3. I look on the horizontal line, I look for 6. There it is. And then it says 3. So 6 and on the vertical, on the y-axis, 3. There it is. 6 and 3. They meet and this is the coordinate for 6, 3. 6 on the x and 3 on the y and they meet 6 and 3. There is the coordinate four, six, three. Another one, four, two. We always start with the x-axis. So four on the x-axis, there it is. And two on the y-axis, there it is. So four and two, they meet right there. Four and two. Four from the x and two on the y-axis, they meet right there. Another point, seven, one. Which axis do we start? The x-axis. So seven on the x-axis, there it is. And one on the y-axis. And where do they meet? They meet right there. Seven and one. They meet right there. And put our red dot. Two minus 1. So 2 is on our x. There it is. That's our x-axis. 2 is there. Minus 1 is actually down. So minus 1, there it is, with the 2, and it meets right there. 2 minus 1. 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4. So 3 on our x, there it is, and minus 4 on our y, there it is. Where do they meet? They meet right there. 3 minus 4. That's the point for 3 minus 4. Then we have negative 1, negative 2, or minus 1, minus 2. Negative 1, there it is on the x. We always start on the x first. And negative 2, there it is on the y. Where do they meet? They meet right there. 
negative 1, negative 2. There it is. Then we have negative 4, 0. We have negative 4. Where is negative 4? On the x-axis first. Negative 4, there it is. And 0 on the y-axis. Now 0 on the y-axis is basically on the actual line. So it stops right there. So our y-axis is basically 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. And of course the x-axis is the same 0, which is the origin, it overlaps. So this point here in the center is actually 0, 0. We call it the origin. 0, 0. So the origin is always 0, 0 right there. The 0 from the x-axis and the 0 from the y-axis. So minus 4, 0, minus 4 on the x, and 0, there it is. It doesn't go up or down, it just stays on the line. Then we have 0, minus 7. So 0 on the x-axis, there it is. So 0 on the x, there it is. And minus 7 on the y, we go down. 0, minus 7. Then we have negative 2, negative 5. Negative 2, negative 5. x, then y. So negative 2 on the x, and negative 5 on the y. And where they are, they go down to meet negative 5. There it is, negative 2 and negative 5. And lastly, for those points, we have 0, 4. 0 on the x-axis. There it is, and 4. So go up, 4 on the y-axis. There it is. So here we can see that the points are given to us, they are the coordinates, and we have to follow by starting on the x-axis first, and then we go on the y-axis. We have the coordinates and we plot them on the actual number plane or the number lattice, and we have our points as you can see there. We start with the x-axis all the time first and then we look for the point on the y-axis. x then y, x then y, x then y. This is how we plot coordinates on the number plane. Now that we know how to plot the coordinates on a number plane, we would like to know how do we find the coordinates when a, a number plane has already points or coordinates on it. So we have here already points on the number plane, we would like to know their coordinates. Let's get started. The first one we're looking for is the red coordinate and we look for it and we can locate it right there. When we locate it, we always start with the x-axis first. Now the x-axis is on the negative 5 and the y-axis it's on the negative 2. So negative 5, negative 2, that's where the red coordinate is. So negative 5, negative 2. Then we look for the yellow, the little yellow one. We're looking for it and we locate it there. 4 on the x-axis and 5 on the y-axis. So 4, 5. The little blue one, we can locate it right in the middle. And we know the middle is called the origin. 0, 0. Two zeros. The 0 from the x-axis and the 0 from the y-axis. So the little blue one, the coordinates are 0, 0. That is the origin of the number plane right there in the center. The little green one, we can locate it and we can see that it is on the x-axis at 2 and on the y-axis at 1. So the coordinates for the green is 2, 1. The big blue coordinate there, the point there, we need to find it, and we can see it right there. On the x-axis is in negative 9, and on the y-axis it is at 4. So 4, negative 9 here, so negative 9 and 4. So we write it down, always x first, negative 9 and 4. Negative 9, 4 is the large blue point. 
Then we have the green, we look for it and we can see it right there. And we notice it's on the x-axis, so at negative 5. It doesn't go up or down, so on the y-axis it's actually 0. So negative 5, 0. And then the yellow, the yellow on the x-axis at 4, going down with negative 4. So 4, negative 4 is the coordinate of the yellow point. And lastly, the red point, it's on the 0 for the x-axis on 0, and it goes down to negative 4. zero, negative four is the coordinate for the red point. So now we know how to plot points on the number plane. We also know how to locate them. And when we look for a point, we know how to write it as a coordinate as well. Very important skill you need to know for the rest of high school. We're going to use this number plane so many times. So it's very important for you to practice and practice makes perfect. It is easy, it is simple, but with practice, you'll master it and it'll be so easy for you, you won't be ever uh, able to make any mistake and you'll get them all correct, whether you're doing your homework or in your test, you'll get them all perfect.